Hi everybody, I'm John DeBerry and welcome back to another episode of Drink What You Want. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a drink for all of you espresso martini lovers out there. It's sort of a combination of a few things that I love including cold brew coffee, snacks from the 90s, and it is called the Dunkaroos Alexander. Today is a very special day for me because my second cocktail book, Saved by the Bellini, comes out literally today. So once you're done watching this video, once you're done subscribing to this channel, once you're done leaving a like and turning on notifications and checking out the full recipe at foodtg.com, go out and buy Saved by the Bellini. It is a cocktail book that is all about the 90s. Uh, it's not really drinks from the 90s, but it's drinks that I created recently uh, based on all these things from the 90s that I love. And today we're going to celebrate one of my favorite snacks from the 90s, Dunkaroos, which were kind of this coveted snack of mine that I never really got to eat when I was, you know, 12 years old in, in the 90s. And so now that I am a full-blown 40-year-old adult, I can just go out and buy these whenever I want and eat them and then make drinks out of them. So I can't wait to show you how we're gonna turn this into a cocktail. You don't just eat your Dunkaroos. So the first step in this recipe is to make simple syrup if you don't already have it. This is one way to make simple syrup. It's not wrong if you make it on the stovetop, but I prefer the blender because I just like using tools. It's the same recipe in terms of like the actual ingredients, just equal parts, sugar and water. And while you're waiting for the blender to finish blending, uh, why don't you just bust out your favorite 90s playlist? Uh, I listen to a lot of music in the 90s. I have a lot of favorites, but why don't you let me know what your favorite 90s song is in the comments and maybe we'll make a playlist together. All right, so this needs to settle down for a little bit. So while that's chilling out, we can get started with the rest of our drink. And I don't really know how else to say this, but you're gonna rim the glass with crushed up Dunkaroos cookies. There's no way to share it with that. Take all of your cookies. Leave the pudding part for later. That's gonna be important. In most like sane drink applications, you're usually using like a water or like a citrus juice to, to use to wet the rim of your glass so that you can get the sugar or the salt onto the rim. In our case, we're gonna be actually using the chocolate pudding from Dunkaroos as the kind of adhesive. I don't know if you could ever describe applying chocolate pudding to the rim of a glass with your pinky as elegant, but try to do an elegant job. Just apply just a thin layer on the, the edge so you can get the nice adhesive for the cookies, but you don't want to be too goopy. Now that we're done with all the prep work, uh, I want to talk a little bit about the Brandy Alexander, which this drink is largely based on. It's a very classic cocktail. It's basically equal parts brandy, creme de cacao, and then heavy cream. And then usually it's topped with a little bit of nutmeg. And so you'll see some elements of that in this drink as well as some riffs on Manhattan with the vermouth. And then our base spirit is going to be rye whiskey. And then we're also going to throw in some coffee concentrate. Make sure that it's coffee concentrate and not just like regular brewed coffee or espresso because you're gonna get that nice concentration of flavor. So you saved your frosting packet from, from your cookie adventure and just drop the frosting in your shaker. So for each drink, you'll need one tub, a little mini tub of, of frosting in order to get the right texture. And then we are going to add the simple syrup that is now perfectly clear and beautiful. Whatever leftover simple syrup you have, it'll last in the fridge for, I don't know, a couple of weeks and you can even freeze it. Uh, and it'll last months. And next up is the sweet vermouth. We're gonna use one ounce and then another ounce of the coffee concentrate. And then we're topping it all off with some rye whiskey. You can use any brand that you prefer using two ounces. So we've got a shaker full of our drink ingredients and most people uh, would expect you to shake with ice at this point. And we are going to shake with ice, but you wanna add a little quick step beforehand because the frosting is still like a big lump of goo at the bottom of this. So you wanna get that emulsified with everything else before you add the ice because the ice freezes everything and makes it harder to mix. So you wanna make sure it's really nice and mixed at room temperature before moving on to the chilling step. What's the soundtrack to me shaking without ice? I don't know. <laughs> all right, so now we've got this all nice and shaken up and integrated. Gonna throw in some ice. You don't need to use fancy ice for this. We just have fancy ice because it's what comes out of our freezer, but like just anything you have, just as long as it's sturdy enough to last in the shaker for like the 20 seconds that you're shaking it. So. Generally, my rule of thumb for shaking cocktails is about 15 seconds because it gives the ice 
enough time to melt enough to transfer uh, the heat away from the liquid into the ice so that you have a really, really, really cold drink and it's diluted properly and it has a nice froth. And so 15 seconds is usually it. It's actually a lot longer than you think it is. I forgot bartending with long hair is such a hassle. There it is. Cheers. It's the Dunkaroos Alexander. So I think this drink is really fun and delicious. It's definitely a desserty drink. It's kind of giving like a, like a frappuccino with rye whiskey in it. This is a great drink to have while you're sitting around reminiscing about all the things that you wish you did in your childhood that you never could. But you can now because you're an adult. So if you like this recipe, check out the full thing at foodg2.com and come back next month when I will be making a mocktail based on the Macarena. Don't wanna miss it.